What's going on everyone? Welcome back to some more Jets franchise. We are starting the offseason and to start things off, we got a lot of players to re-sign starting off with Le'Veon Bell. All season long, Le'Veon Bell did incredible so I'm going to go ahead and offer him a pretty good contract because I feel like he's a good player. So we re-signed him for two years. So I went ahead and offered pretty much everyone a contract. A couple of guys actually declined and just wanted to test out free agency, which honestly really sucks because I had to deal with not only the salary cap, but trying to re-sign them or just find guys to replace them. So it was pretty difficult and we only just got started in the off season. So next up was taking a look at prospects and Devontae Falk looked like an incredible wide receiver. He looked really, really good and I was really highly thinking about taking him. So I was really interested in him. I also took a quick look at a QB, Benson. He looked pretty solid, but we did have Zach Wilson and Jimmy. I also took a look at Ben Burton. Looks like a pretty good right outside linebacker. So I kind of looked at him. He was pretty interesting. And then I also looked at Earl Tiller. He looked like a really good middle linebacker and we really needed one. So that was someone that I wanted to keep an eye on. Next up, I went ahead and looked at the mock draft and Devante was number one. Benson was number two overall. And we were projected to get a right outside linebacker, Billy Duggan. For mock draft number two, Devante was number one once again. And you can see a couple other guys, including right end Alex Clark. He was projected to go to us. And then as far as mock draft number three there were a couple guys and we were projected to draft a cornerback and of course Devante, number one overall projected in every single mock so after all of that i decided to take a look at free agency and i was intrigued by chris harris jr nice cornerback and i decided to try and sign him so i gave him a pretty good offer and he seemed pretty interested so i really wanted Devonte folk and also earl so i knew i had to get the number one number two or just some early pick in the draft so i tried and tried the lines had the number one overall pick and it took me a good while to try and figure out some kind of trade to go for it and no matter what happened they would not budge for it so then i went after the new york giants they had the number two overall and I ended up actually getting it. However, I was not satisfied. So I went over to the Eagles to harass them and I was able to get the number four pick as well. I was pretty excited when I saw that Chris Harris Jr. accepted our contract. So we got a pretty awesome cornerback. So that was really, really awesome. I then decided to take a look at the last two mock drafts and you can see Devante still number one, Earl number two overall, and a left guard going number four as well. So earlier in free agency, I actually offered Sue a contract and I actually decided to retract that offer because I thought there are a couple other positions that we need a little bit more. I was tempted to try Von Miller, but I knew he would not sign. So I kind of looked around, tried to find someone that we could go after that could really make a huge impact on the team so after searching for a little while i realized i needed a right outside linebacker it, i didn't have the best of one so i offered melvin ingram a contract so after simming a week i saw that ingram actually accepted the contract that was amazing to see not only that but we were able to also get rob gronkowski so with that i was ready to start the 2021 nfl draft we had the number two overall pick and for whatever reason i thought i had the number one pick so i kind of messed up Devonte went over to the lines and i got pretty annoyed with myself more on that a little bit later so we had the number two overall pick so i decided to go after joe walton which is a right tackle he looked very very solid and i took a chance and he had hidden star development 
That was so exciting to see. His ratings are pretty good, so I was pretty satisfied with this pick. So Earl Tiller was someone that I had been really watching in the prospect of mock drafts and stuff like that. So I decided to give it a shot and see if he was any good. And he had normal development rate, but he had some great ratings for a middle linebacker which we really needed on the team. So this was a pretty solid pick. So because I missed out on Devante, I realized I really needed some wide receivers. So I took a look at Chandler Lincoln and he was a pretty good looking wide receiver. However, after deciding a little bit, I went after Nate Richards, which looked a little bit better. He had normal dev rate, but again, he was pretty solid. 89 speed and just overall his ratings, except for strength, was pretty solid. So after that, I decided to kind of take a gamble on who I selected next. I got a strong safety and the rest I kind of just randomly selected and hoped for the best just because there weren't too many good players left over in the draft. So I kind of just went through, selected people who I just expected to be good, another cornerback, and just a little bit of depth as well. And Chandler was still available, so I decided to take a chance on him, and I was not regretting it. He had hidden star development, so that was pretty exciting. So taking a look at the draft recap, Joe Walton is a 72 overall, Earl Tiller is a 75 overall, Nate Richards was 67, Jerry wasn't that good, Felix as well. Lincoln was pretty good, a 65 overall, so overall, a pretty solid draft in my opinion. So then I ended up simming to the regular season, but I was not satisfied with how the draft went. I decided to try and trade for Devante. This was going to be very tough because of the cap room and so many other factors, but I made it my mission to get Devante no matter what it took. So then I was able to trade him. I traded Bryce Hall, a third round pick 86, a second round pick 54 of next year's draft over to the Lions for Devante Folk. And let's just say when I went over to check his ratings, I was ecstatic. 82 overall superstar X factor. Absolutely insane. I took a chance on him traded for him and I did not regret it. You could see 96 speed and overall Devante looks incredible and he looks like a real weapon that we're going to be using all season long. So that's going to do it for the off season guys. Make sure you subscribe down below so you do not miss season number two. What do you think of the draft and free agency signings? Do you think this will improve the team and do you think we will win the Super Bowl this season. Let me know by dropping a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video.